So, over the last 24 hours, the Jane and Sancho to Manchester United rumours have massively heated up from reports that Jade and Sancho has unofficially confirmed the Manchester United move himself. He wants United, he's spoken with Marcus Rashford multiple times about Manchester United and how he likes Solskjaer and what he's done and that he says he wants to come to Manchester United even if we don't get Champions League football. Hello and welcome back to Alice Talks Football and in today's video I'm going to be giving you all the updates on Jadon Sancho, what's happened, what's been said, why it looks so likely that Jadon Sancho is going to come a Manchester United player and a basic roundup of all the reports and what they're saying. These reports are making it look certain that Jadon Sancho is going to become a Manchester United player and the only thing that could stop Jadon Sancho becoming a Manchester United player is if this coronavirus pandemic messes with the transfer window. But before I get into this video and what the reports are saying and why it looks so likely he'll become a Manchester United player, please take two seconds to hit that like button and subscribe down below to Alice Talks Football if you have not already as it means a lot and if you subscribe you don't miss daily football content from me. So, Jane Sancho, he's one of the most promising young talents in the world. He has just turned 20. And at 20 years of age, he already has 31 goals and 42 assists in 90 games. Now, 31 plus 42, that is 73. 73 goal contributions in 90 games. Now, that is pretty good. Now, you think, all right, Messi and Ronaldo have got so much better stats, but Jane Sancho is just turned 20. When Messi and Ronaldo just turned 20, here were their stats. Ronaldo had 16 goals and 16 assists, while Messi had 26 goals and eight assists by the time they'd gone 20. Jadon Sancho beats them in all aspects, showing the potential that Jadon Sancho has on why he's gonna be worth such a big money move. So he's gonna cost a lot, Jadon Sancho, and Borussia Dortmund have come out and said multiple times that they will let Jadon Sancho go. They won't leave him hostage. If he wants to leave, they'll let him go as long as the right price is met. They come out yesterday and said, yeah, if the right price is met, you know, just because of this coronavirus, we're not gonna let him go cheap. We will let Jadon Sancho go. And apparently they're gonna let him go for around 130 million pounds. And that's the rumored price that Manchester United and Dortmund have agreed on. 130 million euros, sorry, which is around just a little over 100 million pounds, which I think is a good price for Sancho. It's not stupidly overpaying, but it's we're not mugging Dortmund off. The reports are saying that Manchester United are more than happy to pay over 100 million euros for the star player, the star man they want to bring to the club, Jadon Sancho. Now I believe it's because all he wants is Jadon Sancho. He's a right winger. We desperately need a right winger. He's young, English, got potential, and wants to come to Manchester United and fast. He ticks everything on Ollie's checkbook. Like, we know Manchester United will be willing to spend over 100 million for Jaden Sancho. They will break the bank for him. They spent 80 million on Maguire. They're going to spend over 100 million on Jaden Sancho. So, the Independent, among other sources, have basically come out and said that Jaden Sancho has unofficially announced his move from Dortmund to Manchester being the red side of Manchester. I mean, why would he go to Manchester City? There's already an abundance of wingers there anyway. He's less likely to get a game time, plus he's already been there. So it's it's obviously Manchester United. Apparently he's confirmed everything in privately with the club and all the voices going around privately in Old Trafford are basically saying the deal from Jadon Sancho is like 99% done. They've offered him a 400k a week done. Personal terms are agreed. All of this is agreed. I think they're just seeing what's happening. And all the sort of, basically this report goes in to say that, you know, Jadon Sancho and the club have unofficially confirmed it themselves. It's very likely he's going to join Manchester United. The report also says that Jadon Sancho is going to replace Alexis Sanchez. So Manchester United want to get Alexis Sanchez off their books so they can save wage funds for Jadon Sancho. And Jadon Sancho, if he joins, will become the highest earner. Manchester United raking in £400,000 a week. Yes, that is insane money. But it's the man we want and I think we'd do anything to get him. The report goes in to talk about every quiet word coming out of the theatre of dreams confirms that Jadon Sancho will be moving to Manchester this summer. The report also talks about how Manchester United have prepared the number seven shirt for Day the number seven shirt for Jaden Sancho. He's gonna get the number seven shirt, and they strongly believe that even if they don't get Champions League football next season, Jaden Sancho will be a Manchester United player. This other report basically goes into talk about how Jaden Sancho has a very close relationship with Marcus Rashford and Jesse Lingard. We know they've been friends for years over England International GT. Jaden and Rashford are obviously seen for ages. They always banter a little bit on Twitter and Instagram and stuff. I know Jesse and Jaden did an Instagram live like two days ago. And apparently, like, he talks to them a lot about Manchester United, the reports are saying, and he's told Rashford, who's obviously gone and told Solskjaer this, that Jaden admires what Solskjaer's done with young players. 
he, he thinks Solskjaer's done a good job, he likes Solskjaer and he wants to join and obviously Rashford's gone and put in a few good words about Jaden to Solskjaer, apparently Jaden's a great player, great attitude, he's gone and told Solskjaer that and apparently Jaden's saying loads of good words about Solskjaer, so I mean there's a little chemistry between Ollie and Jaden, they've been exchanging nice words about each other in private. And we always know that Jaden Sancho kind of wanted to come to Manchester United for the last year or so, he always flirts with the idea of coming to Manchester United. There's a video, if I can find it, I'll like put it in this video, where he's like with the rapper Dave, I think it is, and they're like, get him to United, get him to the United, and he's just laughing and he's like, you know what's next, you know what's next. Hey, you know what's next? You know what's next? You know what's next? Hey. Kind of flirting with the idea of joining Manchester United, and even Rashford always have their like, Twitter beef about him and United and stuff and Jaden Sancho like always flirts with the idea of coming to Manchester United so we know that you know he's very keen on coming to Manchester United and the reports are saying he's very keen on coming to Manchester United and you know what like why would he go we know with Jaden Sancho is he moves for his career he went to Dortmund for game time why would he go to City and Liverpool because he's not guaranteed game time it's hard to break in on the wings there City got so many wingers the Liverpool front three is gonna be hard to break in why would you go Arsenal plus they sent 70 million on Nicolas Pepe Doubt he'd go Spurs, don't think he'd want to. It's really Manchester United and Chelsea left, but when you think about it, Manchester United have an open slot on the right wing. We have like two wingers in the whole club. Chelsea, they've got three brilliant wingers coming up in Hudson Adoy, Pulisic, and obviously they've just got Hakim Ziyech. So Manchester United are the club most in need of a winger. And if he wants game time, he knows that Manchester United is where he is guaranteeing game time. I'm pretty sure he'd get it at Chelsea, but like he knows with Manchester United he'll come in, he'll be the main winger, the main man, the spot is already there for him. Also with Chelsea, they need a striker a lot more than they need a winger, and I think they'll go for Werner before they go for Sancho. One well, Manchester United will go for Sancho before they go for Werner. Now after hearing all these reports, obviously you don't know how accurate these reports are. But like from the way the reports are going, I'm quite confident that Jaden Sancho will become a Manchester United player. You know, he flirts with the club. I think he wants to come to Manchester United. We obviously want him. We're willing to pay that much for him. He's the number one target. I think we'll go for him before anyone. I think he wants to be here. I think the only thing that can stop him is if Chelsea sweep him with some amazing offer and we just don't have Champions League. Although reports are saying he'll come even without Champions League. Or if this coronavirus outbreak stops transfer markets or affects the value of the club and how much we can spend. Now, thank you for watching Alice Talks Football. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below about Jaden Sancho joining Manchester United. Do you want him? How much would you spend on him? And is there someone you'd rather have more? Like this video if you haven't already. Subscribe down below as it means a lot. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And anyway, video suggestions, I'll have a look at all my comments, so comment them below.